What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today I am pretty certain that something extremely shady is going on with a very popular tech channel here on YouTube which you know that that shouldn't be too surprising because here on YouTube a lot of shady stuff happens. I think pretty much everybody knows that. If you watch YouTube you're aware that there is a lot of shady things going on behind channels. You know people will do anything that they can. They will do anything that they can to inflate views to make things look better than they really are to make their channels I guess I, I don't know show up better in the search results and stuff when they shouldn't be there. People employ a lot of really bad tactics, and I'm not talking about like maybe some of the less harmful ones like minor clickbait and things like that. I'm talking about ones that actually do have really negative implications like what we're about to get into, like when it comes down to stealing people's businesses, creating botnets to inflate views on your videos, things like that. You know, I, I think we can all agree that these are bad things to do. Now, this video is talking about a channel you may or may not know about called TechSmart. Now, this is a tech channel with over 3 million subscribers, which is very popular here on YouTube, obviously. Pretty hard to get that amount of traffic onto a channel, so I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of tweets made by a user at Ian, where he essentially exposes the creator of TechSmart for stealing his business and employing a bunch of shady tactics to try and get fake traffic on videos on YouTube. So let's go ahead and start breaking everything down. It all really starts going down on Christmas when Ian tweets, I spent this year building a network called GMG. Most of you know me as the owner and head of this company. I built up the base of the business while Keaton Keller was bankrupt and depressed in debt. When I got the company to a stable point financially, Keaton came out of the woodworks and assumed the role of CEO blowing all of the company money and role-playing as if he was some big-shot executive, often straight out lying to people about what he is and what his businesses were capable of. Now, if you don't know who Keaton is, he is the founder of TechSmart. He is pretty much the face of TechSmart. He is also, I guess, well, I was friends with Ian. I, I don't really know how that whole situation really came about, but while Ian here was building up his business, was building up his brand, Ian was out here grinding, essentially. You then have Keaton come along, after it, I guess, starts to take off a little bit and basically steals the company from him. Now, it's going to get explained how this happens here in a second. In June, I noticed that one of our, quote, friends was working very hard for our company and invited him to be an owner. This friend and Keaton then illegally removed my access to all accounts, scraped me from the bank accounts, etc., knowing that it would take a very long legal process for me to regain access to any of these accounts and all of the money that they owe me. Now for months, they have dragged out a buyout and flat out lied to me about planning to reimburse me for my share of the company. Instead, they constantly put it off and lied about deadlines. So for the last six Six months, I've been paying the at Cursor team who were all displaced abruptly by this out of my savings while continuously being promised compensation for my ownership of the company in an effort to stave off the lawsuit that would prove the company belongs to me. So one of the friends of Ian who was working with this company basically who has access to a lot of the high up stuff, the bank accounts, some of the ownership of the company I would assume, brings in Keaton kicks out Ian, puts Keaton in his place. And at this point, Ian realizes, hey, that's going to take a lot of legal action to make me get back into where I'm supposed to be in reality. I mean, you don't just go to a court and say, hey, I own the company. And they go, oh yeah, you're right. You own the company. You have to prove that. You have to have legal documents. You have to have evidence for what you're saying. And of course, they're going to try and counteract everything you do. So there's going to be a process. Now, throughout this whole time, Ian has been paying the at cursor team, which I'm not really sure what their whole role in this whole thing is maybe they are the team that also works with this whole GMG network. Maybe they are the people who works on this. He has been paying them out of his own pocket because essentially the company is being ran into the dirt and their project that they've been working on is being ran into the dirt and this guy who has basically assumed Ian's position is spending the company finances illegitimately, which you're about to figure out. Meanwhile, Keaton and the GMG crew are continuously seen on social media sporting luxury watches worth tens of thousands of dollars and buying expensive bottles at the club while trying to claim that the company is struggling. This is a lie and Keaton is actually allocating company funds to support an overly lavish lifestyle that he would not be able to afford himself. You can ask any of my roommates, their ads are listed here if you personally want to go ask them, you know, that's up to you guys. Keaton had to sleep on our couch and eat our food for months of 2019. So he basically is out here using this company money that Ian built up, right, to buy himself nice stuff. He's not using it to run this company, 
He's basically taken this money for himself. It was shitty enough that he basically hijacked this company with the help of one of their quote-unquote friends. No friend would do that, by the way, but it, it was bad enough that he did that, right? Now he is essentially trying to bankrupt this company to fund a lifestyle that he cannot afford himself. While I built up the base of the business, Keaton would always be upset, saying he felt like he had nothing to contribute to the company and showed no interest until a period of rapid growth that was the result of myself and eventually the third friend, who eventually also hijacked the company with the help of Keaton. Right as the company was about to hit 1 million per month in revenue, I was illegally removed from everything. As the only equal owner and only other person with access to the bank account, Keaton now had full control over an insane amount of money every single month. Keaton would employ shady tactics, like charging every partner, including me, a non-existent $40 bank fee per payment, which he claimed, quote, instantly made him thousands per month, despite our bank not actually charging anything. So, the bank doesn't charge a fee for any transaction, but now Keaton is starting to charge a bank fee for any payment that they make. Essentially, so he can make some pocket change. Pretty shitty thing to do. He also, to my horror, would talk about getting people whacked, and even though I believe he is crazy and just thinks he can say whatever he wants, if anything happens to me or my accounts after this thread, assume he had something to do with it. One of the next tweets is one of the people added recently talking about how, you know, he was sleeping on their couch for months of 2019 and eating food, basically confirming the entire thing. Anyone who worked with GMG prior to the summer knows that I owned the company. A good portion of the company's biggest partners are the result of huge parties I threw in LA out of my own pockets. Most of your favorite influencers attended these parties. Since I never took a salary from GMG, I lived off of personal channels, content partnered through them. I took a big L on all these parties and lost money for most of the year, while Keaton used me for any connection or resources he could get, with no regard for me or my team. I haven't talked about this because GMG still owns 50% of the channels that I use to provide the very hardworking cursor team with their salaries, and Keaton is known to react harshly to try to intimidate people, but the truth is more important at this point. They have continuously promised me full ownership of these channels, but have delayed actually giving me it despite my team that I'm paying out of my savings doing all of the work. Okay, so you've seen all this. You've already seen how shitty this all is on the part of TechSmart slash Keaton. This is already bad enough, and it seems like there are other people who are corroborating details of this story, and Ian has apparently filed a lawsuit, which we'll get into a little bit later, so I don't really think that this is a fake story because I mean if if you were out here just making this up for clout you have to you you have to spend money to file a lawsuit in court so if you're just out here bsing you probably wouldn't spend the money to put this up in court slash ruin your reputation online that it doesn't really make sense but it gets worse because TechSmart slash Keaton basically was now spending company money to build a botnet in order to inflate view counts illegitimately on videos to scam advertisers, according to Ian. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this. Earlier this year, Keaton slash TechSmart spent over $20,000 of Cursor's money without my permission on dozens of Apple devices to create a botnet he calls the daycare. He used these bots to inflate branded videos he would do on the TechSmart channel to scam advertisers. Here are the text messages in which he essentially admits that the daycare exists. He shows some of the statistics behind one of these channels, in which you can see the view counts are doing pretty well. And he's talking about getting TechSmart and everything in the networks. So, I mean, it's not like this is all seemingly fake. Of course, screenshots can be faked, so I guess this isn't 100% legitimate proof, but at the end of the day, with everything else going on, I really doubt that these are fake. If you don't know what a botnet is, let me go ahead and explain this as simply as I can. A botnet is when you create essentially a network of a bunch of different internet connected devices, right? So in this instance, let's say they have 20 different internet connected devices. And what they're going to do is they're going to take all of these devices and they're going to route them to send traffic to video. Videos. So all of these devices are going to quote unquote watch videos or give videos views and things like that to make it inflate the view counts on videos to make it look like they're, you know, getting half a million views or a million views when the legitimate view count of that video might only be, you know, 150,000. Botnets are often used for more different purposes. A lot of the time they're used for DDoSs, sending spam, things like that. But obviously you can use them for things like this as well. Not 
obviously a very legitimate tactic on YouTube to use a botnet for your own personal gain, but as you can see from these accusations, it does not seem that TechSmart or Keaton really cares about, you know, the morals of this kind of stuff. So this botnet was called Daycare. Now notice how I never acknowledge his mentions of the daycare, as at this point I realized my life's work was in the hands of a complete psycho and I was scared for the livelihoods of my team who had trusted me to provide a stable job. He came over to my house and cried to at Neon Place about how he had spent all of our earnings that month and begged us to forgive him. Once again, I had to pay my team out of my savings. The reason this has not yet gone to court is because, as I mentioned, GMG constantly claimed they were willing to settle, even forcing me to spend thousands for an in-person meeting in LA to, quote, finalize things, which did not result in anything productive. I have filed a lawsuit with the state of California and have every intention of getting back what is mine, plus damages for all the extra money this has cost me. I plan to publicize as much of the lawsuit as possible and will release an in-depth video when my lawyer gives me the okay. So, with all of this, doesn't necessarily sound like somebody who is faking a story. I'm going to publicize all the details that I can. I have filed a lawsuit, which is going to be extremely costly to me. I have screenshots that should prove what I'm saying. I have details. I have other people kind of corroborating my story. Here's a few texts that I found from at Keaton, which he sent me a stack of Apple TVs and admitted that they would be used to inflate views. And I mean, here we go. Holy shit, yes. Dude, we just balled out and got 11 sources of traffic, aka these Apple TVs will be used to inflate views. TechSmart is our ticket to freedom. I just spent two hours at Fry's to make our IP untraceable. Now you're gonna see Ian says, nice, nice. Personally, I don't really want to inflate views, lol. Personally, I don't want the stress of needing to kickstart channels on a predominantly tech channel. If there are other means, I'm open. Now Ian also claims that Keaton has changed his bio on Twitter in an effort, quote, to distance himself from GMG, aka Gas Media Group. Ever since everything has kind of come out throughout this entire story, I can't really confirm or deny because I wasn't really, you know, checking his bio before this whole thing happened, but if this is the case, makes everything look a lot more shady. Now, from stealing a company, spending company finances on nice watches and expensive things for yourself, basically running the company bankrupt and, and trying to get apologies and sympathy, using people for your personal gain when you were sleeping on their couch and eating their food for months, making them pay people out of their own pockets after stealing all their hard work for, from them, you know, inflating your own view counts with botnets because, you know, you're not generating the traffic you need through legitimate means, things like that, all really fucking scummy things to do. And it's all stuff that should definitely be publicized because we're talking about a channel with 3 million subscribers, somebody who has influence, and this is the way that he's acting, okay? And he, he's trying to keep it kind of on the down low here. With all this being said, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on my channel. Follow me over on Twitter at SubtheOptimist. I post memes, thoughts, and updates over there. It's a surefire way to get notifications of all my newest content. Join the Discord down below. Lots of great things going on down there as well. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. Make sure to check out Opt tube while you're here and until my next video guys this is optimus using botnets to inflate my views to scam advertisers and signing out